Ah, uh, I meant to do the tweet right before I hit the button. Didn't do it. There we go. Ah. Hello, world. How y'all doing? Uh, coming back for another stream. Got a little nice music going in the background. Um, I'm still getting used to talking to the camera. Like, it's, it's a different thing, right? So I can talk to the screen, and it's fine. But talking to the camera still feels a little bit weird. Um, so past few streams been working on learning Django uh, the uh, originally what I was doing was trying to go through the official Django tutorial it was not working for me it just didn't work for me the it was too much kind of all over the place way too much information that I didn't need at the time that I was trying to do it like it just it was a whole bunch of stuff so I spent some time doing that Bailed on that, and then started decided that the way that I was going to learn it was to make my own tutorial. And so I spent the past few streams working on my own tutorial, and I made some really nice progress. Um, the I spent some time. I've got the the basics of it set up, uh, and I've got a pretty decent understanding about it. I spent some time last night actually going through the methodology um, of the way that I'm thinking about it, the the way to show it. So. I'm actually going to walk through that right now as a test run, as a test case, and see how that part works going going up to the part that I want. Because the way that I did it was to, instead of just making a whole bunch of code and, and doing like, here, put this here, put this here, put this here, put this here, and then, and then turn this on and you'll see something, uh, I say, start this and you'll see this error. Now that we've got this error, write this code and you'll see that this error goes away and a new error comes up and this error goes away. And then, and then, so it's, it's a process of actually making progress as compared to a bunch of the other tutorials that I've seen, because especially for the first few pages uh, or getting your first like structure of Django up, it takes, it takes several steps before you can see anything. And so if you just throw the stuff up in the background, or if you just make all the changes in the background, you're kind of doing all this stuff without actually seeing changes until you've you've made five or six things happen, or you've put in code in like five or six places, and then you turn it on and hopefully it works. This, I th I like this better, basically, of course, because it's what I'm doing, but I, I like being able to see the progress, and also I like that it kind of feels like a kind of TDD, test driven development, where pushing up, uh, or you're seeing an error, which is kind of like a failing test, right? If you really think about it. And then you fix that one and then you see another failing test. And it takes a little while to get to green. Like you can't, you can't just get there out of the box. Um, you, I mean, you can by making a whole bunch of changes to a whole bunch of places, but there's all these error messages that can help us track. And then secondarily, the error messages are, are helpful because you're going to run into these error messages in general. So it's helpful to get used to seeing the error messages and where they show up in Django and how they show up. Um, I think especially for newer developers, it'll be helpful in terms of like, Hey, don't be afraid of these error messages. Like you're going to see this stuff. It's fine. It happens all the time. That's how you like, that's the computer talking to you saying, Hey, the thing that you tried didn't work. Here's, here's what didn't work. And then it's up to you to go figure out how to do it, but at least shows you kind of where, where to start sniffing around. Um, so I'm just going to get back into that. Um, the, uh, I think I actually have, oh, I should have closed out some stuff. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add to my notes really quick right here. Oh, TR, TR, TD. This is my Twitch checklist. You know, it'd be easier to do is just to copy a line. Close all sublime text and Two and three windows that don't need to be open, which is usually gonna be all of them. So uh, actually right now, I'm just gonna close everything because we're gonna start from start. Um, and so these are my notes for the tutorial. Um, 
let me get this one out of the way. Move tutorial site to just whoops. Tutorial site first try. Alright. Now we're going to walk through it. So make dirt, and I'm going to burn through some of this kind of fast, right? So make dirt for tutorial site and then CD into it. Um, cheating here a little bit. All right. Uh, we're going to make our Python virtual environment. Python 3, M, V, M, V, V, M, V. I saw another tutorial. So I, I pointed out a post today that... Um, I ran into these tutorials last night when I was just looking at some URL stuff, uh, and they look pretty solid. Um, here's the playlist. I'll keep that in links. Um, they look pretty solid, but I went back and watched another one by this, and it was the same. I kind of ran into that same thing, where in the first tutorial, threw a whole bunch of code before actually turning on anything and seeing anything, and it's just like... I want to. I want to see something, and even if it's a failed, even if it's a failure, um, I want to see something. So, anyways. Uh, but I like that. Like it was it, the tutorial that I saw for the stuff. Like those little five-minute chunks are a pretty good way to do it too. I like that. So, um, generally speaking, I, I was a fan of that that first couple ones that I saw. Uh, so right now we do source bin source virtual environment bin activate. Source bin bin activate so that gets us in our virtual environment. Now we need to install Django. Yep, install Django. The other thing that's good about going through this is I discovered last time I was going through this that I didn't actually have pip install Django in there. Um, just missed it somehow. So that's the other part is I'm going to keep going through this a few different times and refining down and refining down just to make sure I've got it. Um, but for right now, uh, that's not... Uh, Ta-da. And then we go into tutorial site. There's a tutorial site. And so I'm just having to migrate right out of the box instead of running the server and floating up the warnings. And just basically saying, don't worry about this at this point. Basically, when you start a new Django site, does the database, whatever. Um, just because it's like, if you don't if you don't do the migration, you see all those warnings fly up, and then you and like most of the tutorial or the tutorial that I saw on the um, the official one, it's like it ran it, and it's like, oh, here's all the warnings, and then it goes back and does all the migration, and then you re refire up the server again. It's like, well, that's not. I don't think that's helpful at that point. Like, get to the migrations when you get to the migrations. Just put a note saying, hey, just run this command. We'll talk about it later. Uh, so that's where I'm doing. Right, and then we can go check it out. Yeah, it's working. Put that over there. Cool. That's it. You're live with the platform, with the platform for a website. Platform to start building on. All right, okay, cool. So now we're gonna make our homepage. And I'm gonna have a bunch of stuff in here that's talking about this, but, so we start up the server, which we got going. Um, so our first step is to set up the paths to point to the root of our homepage. Yeah, so this is another thing that's different. Like a bunch of the tour or the, the tutorial that I saw, and I think another one of them actually, shows not a home page, but like jumping into a database page. Um, but I kind of want the home page to show up. So we're gonna do the home page first. And so the home page, the way that we're gonna start. The first way we're gonna start is um so let's put a note up here. kind of like obvious to me right that hey I just want to like if I've got the server running but I want to run some commands get over here but like that's not necessarily obvious um, 
to everybody. Uh, install Django. Where's the... Put note in here about opening second. And also setting up, starting up for it. See, that's another one, right? So if, if you're kind of new to some of this stuff, And even if you're not, but like that's that, I guess the best way to say that is like that's a stum that's a potential stumbling block right there, right? Or that is a stumbling block. Um, like I wouldn't have noticed it for a second ago until I except I just hit LL and saw um, and saw the virtual environment. I was like, oh yeah, need to do that. Um, so source, I'm gonna cheat SVA. Just my little command to do it. Again, I'm just trying to go through this kind of to to catch up and to and to to kick the tires a little bit, so. Um, uh, actually, what I should do is put this here, just so I remember it. Uh, oops. Okay. So now in our URLs, oh yeah, the other one we were going to do was actually open the page. Uh, that's actually a good point too, right? Uh, two. Obvious, but potential stumbling block. So tutorial site, tutorial site. Why am I three levels deep here? What's going on? Something goofed. Was I in the tutorial site when I ran that? Why is that? That shouldn't be that third level. All right, backing up. I'm blowing it away, start over. Just. I don't want to try and I don't need to try and figure that out until I'm going through the directions again. Because the directions if the directions are wrong, I need to correct it in process or in progress. PM, how about RM? Goodbye. Yeah. Somehow I got whoops. my Hugo site that's just updates my um, local website just so I can see what's going on if I need to look at that but I want to get that out of there uh, so let's go back here oh I know what I did um, 
Yeah, I so I got it. And I was debating about this, and I I'm gonna change it now. Um, So I've already got this direct. This directory's already made. I got a bunch of stuff in there, so I'm not gonna make it. We're in a virtual environment. Yep. Yeah. So I was thinking you would do. Oh, I know what I was trying to do. Uh, so one of the things I saw made it look like you could start a project in the directory that you were already in. So I tried to do that, um, and it didn't totally work. Actually, can you do that? I'm not gonna try this because that's not what all the docs say. Um, test make site in dir. I just wanna see what happens if we do this. So if we're in this directory, let me just do that. No. Uh, wait, Django event's not found. Deprecated Django. Python 2.7. Wait a minute. Django 1.1. 1, 1. How? I'm in my virtual environment. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not. Because I deleted that virtual environment directory. Oh, that's interesting. I was looking at this and I thought I was in there. I'm not. Um, oh, I just installed Django at my root. At my... Oh, well. Uh... Deactivate to get rid of the virtual environment. All right, I'm just gonna blow away these browsers, these terminals. Because it was not happy and we're just gonna reboot. There's our environment. So source, virtual environment, activate. Test, make dir, oops. What does that do? Yeah, it's not a valid main. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I figured it. You couldn't really do that. So now we're back here. We're gonna go into this Django directory and do it that way. So that's all cool. Um, let's get rid of that. Okay. See, found an issue. That's what we're doing this for. We're gonna make our tutorial site, and let me actually go ahead and make our second. And let's bring up our text editor. Yeah, that looks better. It's only two levels of tutorial site instead of tutorial sites all the way down. Uh, let's go back in here. I would like it if you could have the virtual environment inside the tutorial site. Now, you probably could actually do that in terms of just build another virtual environment here and just install Django because there really shouldn't be a version difference there between the Django that you just installed and the new Django that you installed. Probably work, but that's it's one of those things that's like, I can't think of a reason why it wouldn't work. But one thing I've learned is just because you can't think of it doesn't mean the reason ain't there. All right, what do we got? So where are we? Built our site again. We're in it. We're gonna run our migration to get rid of the noise. We're gonna run our server. Make sure we're hot. We are, we're wired. And we'll leave that running. Yeah, see, I don't count that as the home page, right? Just because there's no, you can't do anything with that. Um, so now we're gonna do our actual home page. So we've got our server running. Um, this is another thing I'm probably gonna change in the directions is I'm probably gonna say, I'm probably gonna basically suggest that people do Django tutorial site, tutorial site. 
and just basically say, hey, put this at your at your home directory. Um, and then if you don't, just remember that that's there. But that way you don't have to worry about like site root or like, I was trying to figure it, because like sometimes this tutorial site, tutorial site thing gets confusing. So I want to basically do full paths, you know, full relative to the home directory paths. Um, so we're going to do that. So now we're here again. We're going to go to our, to our URLs and we're going to add this. I'm going to put a comma at the end of that. And we should see this explode. Command line will freak out, throw an error that ends with something like this. Blah, 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 not defined. Yep. So now we need to change this to this. That's fine. And now we get a new error. No logical name pages. See, this is where I like the idea of like, you're actually seeing things change and you're putting in parts and you're understanding, well, you maybe not understanding what's going on, but you're at least seeing what's going on. And I'll add little explanations to all these, to all these things that give you at least a little bit of a fighting chance of getting some information on there. You're not, you know, you're not going to understand, you know, yeah, you're, go you're not, so you're not. to Python and or programming. You're not going to understand parts of this. That's fine for now, right. Encouragement for like, hey, you know, don't don't feel this. And also, like, and that's the other reason I like the error message is like, look, error message. We're gonna for for right now, error messages are your friend. They're actually always kind of your friend, but like right now, I want you to just really think about that. So, um, so we've got that. So now, uh, module not found. Uh, no module named pages. So now we're going to fix that. Yeah, and the and the way that I ended up doing it is like next error fix, next error fix. Um, the one that I couldn't quite make. So th this requires two steps, and I wish I could figure out a way to split them with like doing one of them and then getting an error. Uh, but it didn't work because if I just do this. it still gives me the same error. Um, and then, but if you do this, it doesn't actually, it doesn't clear the error. I don't think, just make sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. so, uh, Moot, it's like note. Okay. server terminal. Yeah, so we'll call one the server terminal and one we'll call the edit terminal, I guess. I don't know 
to call the old one yet. So once we restart the server, yeah, and actually we can drop this note because it's here. Restart the server. And the other one that I want to do is also I'm going to do this pretty explicitly lots of times, right? And you'll see this one, right? Pages is the problem. Pages. Let's see, I didn't see there's no, I don't have a good way to test for that. Or, wait, 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 can you do. You might be able to catch up with this later. Hang on. I just don't think it gives you a good error about it, but it does, It there is an error spot I think that happens that we can use to put this in, even though it's not descriptive. Um, let me pull this out. Okay, it's already out. So where are we? We're down here. Pages URLs is our problem, cool. Fix this in, yeah, see again, this is where, yeah, I like this better. We're gonna just tell them to put it in a place. And then if you're not, I may come up with a shorter name than tutorial site just to keep the URLs shorter or the addresses shorter paths, whatever they are. Put this in that file, right? So we're going to create a new file. And we're going to put this in it. Yeah, let's actually take this out. We're going to do the minimum amount of code. So I'm going to get tutorial site in my fingers. Yeah, I'm just looking for the minimum. Yeah, so the minimum amount of code. I was thinking I would put that in there, but like that's, we're not using that yet. I'm not going to use that. Okay, here's our code. So we're making a new file. We're gonna save this to tutorial site pages URLs. Tutorial site, tutorial site, pages. U R R. My finger's in the wrong place. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do at all, was it? that can I rename this from here what's I gotta do it's gonna explode yeah there's a oh maybe it worked Let's see if it worked I don't have a final one there it is uh, so there Django 
tutorial site, pages, URLs. Okay. That's, I threw a slash in there somewhere. Uh, like, that was not a good idea. Um, so, to do is to figure out. I actually want to try this. get just the just the stuff that we're using because I don't want it to be magic when we when we turn stuff on um, I want I want you to know why you're doing it whoops <laughs> Freudian I wonder pathing should be worth. Huh, I wonder if I should do So it's kind of weird to describe there's nothing there. So I think what I'm actually going to do is call this pages. And do this as home page to start with. And then what we'll do is back off and show how to move it to the actual home page. I'm okay with that because this gi this gives a little bit more of a of an idea of what's going on. Like having those empty things there and trying to explain what the path stuff is 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 a little tricky. Um, yeah, I'm okay with this. I like this. Let me just put those in. Because I can, I can get through all this, and I can have the thing, and then I can do a little explanation about, okay, here's how the pathing works. And then we're going to watch it as we flip this, and you'll see our page move. So first we'll take this out, so just pages, we become the home page, and then chop the other part off, and then, yeah, that's a, that's a good way to do that, like that. Uh, so I also need to go to this URLs and call this pages. Start the server. All right. Missing pages URLs. Let's see what happens if we do this. Pages views has no attribute home page. Right, so we're here. Wait. And over here. Yeah, so here's our error. Because we just put in the URL. Figure out if you need home page. Let's do this. I don't think we do. We'll leave that there for now. Restart the server. Restart the server. Let's move that down here. Might as well go ahead and keep adding these in. So page views. No attribute home page, right? Keep cleaning this up. Django. Uh, 
edit pages views pages views the idea of showing the, how the full files look. So worst case, you copy it, like, there's no question that that's what you're doing. So we'll start working. There you go. With the command line server running, we can switch to the browser, and this is where to do home page, no, pages, home page. So, up here, Yeah, and I'm this. I'm fine with this, right? Because this is the process of building the homepage. We're not building something else. It just we happen to build it in another location, but then we, we push it there. Yeah, so that's I'm 100% cool with that. Um, figure out if we need a homepage now. I don't think we do. I think that's for linking. Uh, views. We just did that. It's working. Now we try and go here. Boom, template does not exist. So what we want to see. Oh yeah, so yeah was even a little inconsistent where I was doing that. All right, so here, Directory. So pages, we're gonna make a directory templates. Inside templates, new directory folder, whatever. Pages. And then here's something. I wish it would work better than this. Like, I should be able to hit save and it just automatically go right there. I mean, it kind of does, but home page, save. Eh, I got it. Uh, home page HTML. Yeah, you gotta restart the server, which is weird for me. This is where we didn't put in, see this is where there's no good error here that tells you that the thing that we're missing is that um, all this stuff up here. And there's just, that's not a good, that's not a good experience either for that, like to see, to hit it that way. Um,
backwards. Raining again. All terrain. See, there's no, yeah, there's not a good, there's not a good explicit error hanging out there. Because this just still talks about the templates missing. But that was the same error that we had when the template was missing. Um... So yeah, you just I wish I wish there was a better way to like explicitly identify through an error like this is the problem. What there aren't that I'm aware of. So we do this. Hello world. There we go. That's our page. Yeah, 42 minutes. I've got no idea how long it's actually going to take somebody to go through it. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, because like I was bouncing around or whatever, but I wouldn't be surprised if 45 minutes is about what it takes. Um, yeah, and like some of the tutorials that I was banging through, like they explained a whole bunch of stuff in settings and like all this other stuff. It's just like, I don't, I just, I don't need to know that yet. Let me know it when I get to it. Cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, so it looks like we don't need name in there to start with. I think I know when we're going to need that. This looks solid. Again, I just want them to like show me, like get me to Hello World with as refined a process as possible. And then to our last step. I'm gonna fix this template, put it under template pages, pages, there we go. Probably the top level one, right? Or the main one? that this should fail This is also to see if I understand, like, I, this is my understanding of the way this thing should work, so, um, we'll see. Uh, we do. So I'm gonna change this to this. Because we're just shipping off 
nothing to the root, right? So, oh, actually, that's interesting. Oh, it did work. That's because nothing else caught it. Right? Because if there was another app up here called Homepage, Right, it would catch it. However, if it was homepage slash, it wouldn't. Oops, I had already jumped. I gotcha. Okay. That's fine. This is this is fine for now. We don't need to dig into that too too much. But that helps me understand what's going on. Which is the whole purpose of doing this. Now we move it all the way up. Hey, Brickle. Right on. Uh, I have no idea how long I'm gonna be on, um, but uh, I'll swing by at 100%. What are you? Uh, what are you doing, Brickle? What are you messing around with? Python, hey Python, I'm into that, totally. Uh, yeah, I'm doing this Django stuff now, and so it's I finally I'm starting to get my head around it a little bit. It's uh, it's I'm enjoying it. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that was a fun little fun little bounce. So I'm, I'll uh, what time like what time are you going on? Do you know? Well, I'm writing a Django tutorial right now that I think is better than the official one. So you should know <laughs> just how I'm learning it. Oh, right now. Cool, 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 cool. Right on. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you if I catch you. If not, we'll catch you next time, man. And good luck, happy stream. I don't know what you say. Happy stream, good streaming, break a leg, something like that. <laughs> right on. See you, man. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, let's see, now we just need to move it up to the root. So we do that by editing our pages URLs. Uh, Django tutorial site. Wow. Pages, URLs, pie. And changing this. Oops. Not that. Do this. And then what should happen? Whoops. And that's it. Our homepage is now live at boom. Uh, yeah, I like that bounce of building it so you can see it with some URL structure because that gives you something to kind of talk about a little bit. Like it, it makes it a couple extra steps to 
to get to the homepage showing up in the at the site route. But it's a little bit easier to understand what's going on because you're hitting it at that page's homepage, which is the structure that you're going down, um, and then you're you're bumping it up, uh, and that'll it'll at least give you some experience, if not understanding, with the paths. Um, but I think that's better than just having the the empty paths showing up. Um, uh, it's also interesting because every or not every, again, when I say every, I mean the official one. The official tutorial, and it, actually I've seen some other ones too, I think, but they have, like in the path stuff, they start doing the namespace already. And like, I'd rather rather wait until you're actually trying to use it to get it. Cause like I, I had a disconnect there when I was messing around with it, where I was trying to, I was making some URLs, but I didn't understand what I was doing. And the reason I didn't understand it is because I had like done some namespace stuff way back but didn't like I just copied and pasted code in, and so this is using copy and pasted code that didn't need to be there originally. It only needed to be there once I started using it. So it's much better to wait until you need it, then put it in so you can see what's happening, and then use it. Um, again, that's and it's not just this tutorial that I've seen have that problem. It's 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 not infrequent, and I think that's part of the process of people who know what they're doing making tutorials and having it tough to be to put yourself in the mindset of somebody who doesn't. So like, I'm coming at this, by and large, not really knowing what I'm doing in Django. So it's, I see all this stuff that if I had had, that if I've been using Django for years, I also probably would not have seen. Like it's tough to get yourself in that headspace. So it's not, it's not like a knock, it's just a way, it's just a hard thing to do um, is, is what it amounts to. Um, but so now what I want to do is, so I'm, I like this. And again, we, so I've gone through it. Um, I'll, can, I'll keep going through it and keep like, you know, I need to add a whole bunch of like commentary to this, but like, hey, here's the thing that we're talking about. Here's what's happening. Not that much though. I want to keep it as, as short as possible. Like ideally just one paragraph under each one of these things saying, hey, what we, so the, and I like the, I like the methodology of here's an error, write this code to fix it discussion of what we just did here's an error write this code to fix it here's a discussion of what we did like i like that kind of process and that kind of move around um and so i because i really it, it's it's like tdd where you're given the answer for the test driven development stuff and then you go back and discuss it so it's it's training it's a tutorial right um we're not we're not here to to make you have to figure it out yourself um, let's work to build a home page and support other pages. Let's add an about page, right? So start by going here and we'll get a 404. So let's just kind of keep rolling. Actually, I want to do that. Because I'm, I'm going to see... I'm going to see about not having slashes. And I recognize, and I recognize a little bit now about where that can bite you, is if you have about and the URL patterns for the top level page, you'd want a slash. Oh, but that would require the slash to be there. Okay, that may be okay. Let me get rid of that. I'm gonna try this. This. This is not the way I saw it done, I don't think. But I may be able to make this happen. Um, and this is one of those, like, so my preference would be, um, so my preference would be if you're looking at a website URL, oh, whatever, that's gonna be tiny, um, for it to look like this without the slash at the end, right? my software on my site puts the slash on the end just because of the way it functions, which it kind of bugs me. Uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hide that fact. Um, I'm getting more and more used to it, but like, like that's a direct and it is a directory because there's an index back there or whatever, but like, this is really the thing that I'm pointed to. So I want to see if with Django, I can actually get to the point without that backslash. This is super minor stuff, but it's like one of those, I would like it to work that way. So if I can make it work that way without it crashing all the time, 
That's it. And and I'll need to go. I'll I'll do some research to see if that's a really bad idea in Django to even try and do that. Um, I I don't know enough about it yet. I'll I'll go kick around and, and figure that out. Um, but for now, I'm gonna try it. Um, I'm gonna try it this way. So we're also gonna say. Um, Figure out, figure, wow. And an extra space. do about without the slash so I'm gonna do it this way and then we'll see if it works oh yeah so we don't have that yet we don't have this yet we don't have this yet see and so this is also oh yeah so we cut that down right so we've used home page so now we're gonna do this Let's actually make sure we're at our place where we saw our 404, right? About, yep, okay, cool. Um, yeah, about page is fine. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to make a different page, but this is cool, whatever. So we're gonna add this. That's the other thing I can do is like capitalize this stuff to make it like, here's the, the thing that's gonna have the problem. Let's see if it really does. Server terminal, yep, pages use has no attribute about. And this is the other one that I wanna see if this is a methodology for creating this stuff. Again, is doing the errors. And so like, if you do the, if you do the URL, you see the error. Um, so add this to the views, so error. Fix. Those are views, pages, views. and bring up the protocol. Actually, you know what I can do? Hang on. Uh, bear with me one second, because I want to give somebody some stream views. This is the same protocol. 
X protocol, doing a bit of Python and other mediocre content. Yep. If he responds to me with words, I won't be able to hear him because I'd be looping back through. No! Cool. So that, that's a this is whatever. Somebody who's caught up with me a couple times on stream and now I see him. It's like, it's a neat. This is my first little like streamer interaction. Aw. Uh, server will be okay. Control C, we're good. But now what we're gonna see is a template does not exist. It's a lot easier, or it's a lot faster once you've got uh, uh, once you've got the kind of the all that main work out of the way, like getting the URL set up to point to pages and all the other stuff. Like it's much faster to build secondary pages, right? So um, you just you give it a URL pattern inside the pages. You give it a view here. Uh, and then actually we should make this, right? So while we're here, Django tutorial site pages views. Put to sleep, put to sleep, put to sleep. Anybody not sit on one leg or the other kind of all the time? Because that's how I do it. Him, but I also want to, uh, but I'm more want to stream. So, uh, it's cool. Uh, pages about, pages about, about page. So, I guess we should check it, right? Does it work? Oh, we didn't actually put the code in. We should do that. So now we're gonna make a new page, new file, whatever. Put this in here. Tutorial site pages. Templates, pages, about, boot. There we go, about page. Cool, uh, I like it. So now,
so I should have done going through the tutorial to make sure it works. Uh, yeah, so let's do it now. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, time one hour and six minutes. Adding URLs. And so what I want to do is for this is just make a straight URL. Uh, and so I'm trying to figure out, so the easy way to do it, um, get rid of that, nothing else down there, right? Yeah, I moved all my other, I had a whole bunch of other notes, kind of drafts of this, but I've moved them over to another file because we wanted to get to this one, but I can actually have that. Um, Linking our pages. So I'm trying to figure out, and so I'm just gonna play with this for a minute. I'm not gonna put in um, nodes, cause like one way we could do this is, oh yeah, this could actually be, hmm. I could actually do this without doing the database stuff to start with just to give you the structure of how the pages work before you get into the database. That's interesting. I kind of like this. So yeah, I'm going to see how quick this goes, like how, um, right. And so we click and then go to about. And then in our about page, um, uh, actually, sorry, we just go to the site route. Home page. So that should give us the link. So now we can go back and forth. So. Yeah, so let's do, so we're gonna do shameless green now, um, which is the Sandy Metz style of just get the thing to work to start with. Um, later on page HTML to and also go in so the other one that I put in I'll, I'll do uh, let's go we'll do it right now I'm gonna end the stream before too terribly long because I'm starting to get hungry and I don't have any food in the house I could probably just search for our homepage. What? Why are you no find? That was weird. It's got a hero. Hello world.
Okay. Um. All right. Hello world. This should change. There we go. Where's our belt page? Belt page. So it's gonna be an H3. I could just copy and paste it, but we're here, so why not do it this way? Home page. Also, we did home page slightly different there. But whatever. About page, home page, about page. I guess we should call it home page. Uh, yeah, let's do this. I still want hello world up there, but whatever, it's fine. I'll clean that up later. All right. Django's URLs, URL calls. Uh, and so, this is what I was doing a little bit of looking at the other night. There's one down there, but um, it's funny the font's big, but I move it too far away from me, so maybe I thought it got all shaky, didn't it? saw one, we'll grab it and just move from there. Oh, here it is. See, it's this pass stuff. Um, this is not, it's not what I was looking at last night. Uh, we'll switch to it anyways and see what happens. So from the home page, oops. See what that does. Yep, reverse not found. Okay. Valid view function or pattern name. Okay. This is where I should have taken better notes the other night when I was messing around with it. Because um, I think 
this is where it gets into... This is what the tutorials didn't really explain. They just kind of threw a whole bunch of code, like all the code, like all this index and all this stuff was already put in there. Um, I mean, I'm sure it kind of talked about it at a high level, but it was just like, it wasn't when I was making URLs. So let's see if we can figure that out. See, there's a URL. Where is... Problem is, this could have all these URL patterns. And also had pull patterns somewhere up here. It has the app name you have to get into. Yeah. Application namespaces of included URL configs can be specified in two ways. Firstly, you can set the app name attribute in the URL conf module, right? At the same level as URL patterns. You can pass the actual module or a string reference to the module to include. I don't totally understand that. Okay. So, yeah, so if we do. The instance namespace can be specified using the namespace argument to include. If the instance namespace is not specified, it will default to the include URL confs namespace, applications namespace. This means it will also be the default instance for that namespace. Okay, so I think what that means, I'm gonna try this first and see if this works. But so if we're in URLs, uh, find me pages, pages URLs, Here we do pages. What are we going to? About name equals quote about. Is that in single quotes? That was in single quotes. We'll do it in single quotes because they did it in single quotes. And then here we do pages about. What's that going to do? About page. There you go. So I need to figure out the best way to talk about that. Because it's pretty short and sweet, right? It's there's not too much to it. Should have made a shortcut for that. Oh. Uh, uh, you'll generally do this when you first make the files, but I want you to see how the code works, right?
Oops, original notes. And I was like, Ah, there's two things. Right, we're gonna update this to this. See, this, this actually confused me. Like, I was kicking around last night trying to mess with linking URLs, and I, I couldn't figure it out, like, because some of that stuff was in there. And I think one of the pieces, well, there's just no, like, here's how to add a URL. Like, make sure this is here and do this. Because, like, again, like that, and one of the things, the app name was already in there, but in another one, I don't think it was somehow. Because um, I was looking at a different tutorial. I was looking at the Mozilla tutorial. Um, but again, it's just like, I didn't understand, like I saw URLs pages about, but I had no understanding of what that was or how it li lined up, but it's this and that, relatively simple. Um, and I think you can also, so we're gonna test this in a second. To get our homepage, do this. But let's actually test this. So I wanna take this out. So this should break. Uh, this should break? Yeah, there we go. Pages is not a registered namespace. So I think the other way you can do it, well, let's see if I'm understanding this properly, is here, you can do this. Name space equals pages. Nope. Unexpected keyword argument namespace. Oh. Hang on, I saw, I know there's something that did this. Um, open all these up. No, example two. No. I swear I saw one that we did it with. I'm about to not worry about it, but um, because I've got it working, but uh. When is this from 2013? So. Less of a thing, whatever. Yeah, URL namespace. Consider using that. Also consider using third-party REST rest framework when you use the app. You have to declare the following in your conf namespace. I knew I saw namespace up in there, but maybe this isn't a. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait! That's in the include.
All right, I'm gonna close this one and this one. Whoa, big explosion. Specifying a namespace and include without providing an app name. Specifying a namespace and include without providing an app name is not supported. Okay. Set the app name attribute in the included module or pass a two tuple containing a list of patterns of the app name instead. Okay, okay. So you got to do the app name. Okay, that's fair. So you go bye bye. All right, so what we had is, is, right, is the right way to do it. Uh, cool. Right, we live. We're live. Boop, boop. And then for the home page, change this. Do this. App name because we already have. So our URL just becomes this. is not a valid wait what how's that happening what did i miss what did i do one page ah didn't actually put it in Oh, we're calling it about page. We should call it home page. There we go. I'll just clean that up. Eh, actually, we can leave it there. It's fine. Um, The other thing is I like trying to keep these as small as possible for as long as we can. Um, as we set up a bunch of views, that will become trickier, but whatever, that's fine. Um, yeah, so that's our URLs. That's okay. That's and like I now have like I have a better understanding now of what these things do. They were kind of always in there as you come up. And like once you start making the pages, sure you can do that. But like I didn't, I wasn't making those connections. And like I definitely didn't know about this app name thing. Um, so that's good um, to to know to figure out how it works, right? Because that's an important part of this stuff. Uh, is you're gonna need to know how it works if you're gonna build it. Uh, let's do one more and one more. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to do anything else. Um, I mean, clearly I want to do other stuff, but so what I'm thinking I could do is build. Yeah, I'm taking a really different track than, than this other stuff where they all go off the database stuff. Um, Yeah, this is interesting. Okay. Um, 
because you could keep it under pages. You could keep its own thing going. Um, now nah, I'd probably move it. Okay. So anyways, okay, that's going to do it for now. Um, I'm going to go eat some food because I have the hunger and uh, we'll catch back up later tonight and uh, and do it again and, and make some more progress with, I think, some templating stuff, just some wrappers uh, to show how that works and to get an idea with that. Um, again, that's not it's not doing the database stuff yet, but it's it's making progress towards it. And I really, I really like the idea of like going through the progress of how I would really kind of actually build this out. So if I was building out a site, I would start with the homepage. I would build the other pages that I want to work on with like the template. And then I would start filling them with data. So like, I like that progression um, because that's the way that I would approach that. Um, the templates may not be they're not going to be great. They're not going to be whatever. And like, I'm not going to try and get into like, Hey, let's install bootstrap and do all this other stuff. Like I'm just, here's the, here's the like atomic bit of information you would need to know to do this thing. If you're going to follow this path. Um, so that's going to do it. All right. Thanks. Be kind. We'll see you next time.